Blessing Shared, June 15, 2021. Today, for our blessing, we share another excerpt from author Anne Lamott. This comes from a post on her Facebook page on June 8th. She raises the question, so now what? Everywhere I go, it seems people are asking this question as we begin to reemerge from the pandemic and see where we are. With her usual grace and humor, we offer a part of her post here today. So now what? Everyone I am close to has been vaccinated. We hug and kiss, often on the lips. We bury our faces in each other's necks and smell each other's familiar beingness. It's amazing, euphoric, to have reclaimed our souls from the plague, even feeling the 600,000 American deaths like a dental x-ray apron on our chests. We shop in masks, but tear them off the second we step outside, gasping the pure mountain air with a Safeway parking lot. And yet, it is all daunting. Now what? Where do we go from here? No, wait, wait. Where do we even start? I would tell writing students, start where you are. Start where your feet are. Maybe breathe every so often. Look around. Look up. Look inside. But look. And more importantly, see. I don't pretend to know how it is all going to shake down. In my husband's new book, Shapes of Truth, he wrote about joy as one of the essential shapes inside us. Joy is shorthand for the beginning of anything new. It includes curiosity, spontaneity, and not knowing. Not knowing? Yeesh! Growing up, my family's higher power was knowing and the worship of intellectual prowess. Not knowing? Give me the smelling salts. I am not even sure who I am post-COVID. Beside being grateful that we have come through as far as we have, I know I turned 60 effing 7 and my baby son is 31. My grandson is finishing sixth grade tomorrow, which cannot be, but is. I know I'm existentially exhausted. Life has been way too lifey for way too long. I also know that grace bats last and frequently appears as water wings and second winds. So now what? What does the future hold? And will there be joy again? Well, I can't possibly know what the future holds, but I do know who holds the future. And the great who does not wear shoes and socks. And of course there will be joy because that is part of our DNA. But maybe it will look a little different. Maybe it will look like what Neil says, curiosity, spontaneity, and not knowing. He and his book are really about reactivating curiosity, which leads to a general reawakening, agreeing to be curious and to not know, or like being spritzed by a plant mister, suddenly noticing the new flowers of summer. And the neighbor's hilariously bizarre new Dr. Seuss mutt and my own slightly increased sense of compassion. All those scenes of mile-long lines at the food pantries. People waiting for hours to get a sack of food for their families. Changed me. Maybe the, maybe the joy will be quieter. Even as we gather to dance again. All truth is paradox. Maybe there will be less cake. No, no, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Plenty of cake. 
curiosity, spontaneity, not knowing. Hmm. Will these be how we get our joy back? I went to get Neil a Safeway cake for his publishing party, and the regular cake lady was gone. And her stand-in that morning spoke almost no English, as I tried to put in my order, to decorate his cake with various shapes. Triangles? Incomprehension on her face. Rectangles? Ovals? Sorry, Charlie. And then I blurted out, hearts, and drew a heart in the air. Hearts, she knew. So Neil's cake ended up looking like a Valentine dessert by my hero, Bill Porter. And it was good. <laughs>